Hey Tekken players, hope you're all doing well. So this is a really, really quick one. I'm just going to show you how to install a mod that I found uh, and it, I really, really appreciate it. So basically uh, Tekken 8 is really, really super um, well optimized, especially for an Unreal Engine 5. So as you can see here, um, just for context, my settings are 1440p, everything maxed out on Ultra and I'm running a RTX 4070. And as you can see by these various clips from player matches, my GPU usage is actually, it, it barely goes above half, um, it's, it's, it's really really well optimised as, as you can see. I mean in, when I uh, had the, um, the CBT uh, beta testing I benchmarked my 1660 Super little, little graphics card at 1080p and it could run it on, on Ultra with no issues whatsoever. So the point is that the game is really well optimised but a lot of the shenanigans as to why that's possible is because there's, I, I, I don't understand the full, um, the full reasons. There's, there's some good uh, tech and Reddit threads to explain better. But basically, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of post filtering, uh, post processing filtering that goes on to kind of hide the fact that actually the, the base resolution is actually quite low. So you're, it's kind of masking the fact that it's actually like running at a more, a, a smaller resolution than you would expect. So this mod. All it does is, in effect, it takes away a lot of the post um, processing to make the whole thing look a bit cleaner, and then it allows you to basically go back to the original uh, and upscale the resolution, so it makes it look a lot cleaner. Now, I'm hoping uh, that YouTube hasn't completely destroyed um, through compression the the before and after. But as you can see, I'm just showing you some before and after clips. Um, of various scenes just to give you a rough idea like I said it may not come out well on YouTube because of the compression but trust me to the eye you know this looks this looks really good so it's very, very simple it's just installing a mod nothing more complicated than that now with all mods and I just gotta you know get, get a disclaimer out there with all mods you are technically modifying the game so you do run the risk of um, making the game less stable uh, and all the other sort of bits and pieces that go along with that plus you know you, you will be putting a bit extra strain on your PC hardware so if you don't have a particularly powerful machine then this might not be a good idea but uh, that being said it, it really doesn't seem to make much difference to mine in terms of how much usage it is so you know feel free to give it a go. So as I said it's just a simple install and we'll now cut over to a pre-recorded version of me explaining how to do it. Okay so I'm going to show you how to install this mod, don't panic it's really really easy you just need to know how to do it following these simple instructions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create the folder that the mods are going to go into, it just makes life a bit easier. So in order to find that, if you've got Tekken 8 saved on your C drive, it'll be in this. So in C drive, you want to go to Program Files, look for Steam, and then from Steam, you want to go into Steam Apps, and then into Common, and then if Tekken 8 is saved there, that's where you should find it. Now I don't have it saved there, I have it saved on a separate drive, I only have The Witcher 3 saved on my local for sentimental reasons. Uh, so I'll show you where I actually keep my version of Tekken 8 and then you'll see what the folder structure looks like. So for me it's actually saved on a separate drive as I mentioned. So Steam Library and then from there it's exactly the same Steam Apps, Common and as you can see Tekken 8. So you go into the folder and then into the Polaris folder. Double click on that. Then you want to go into Content. Then you want to go into Packs. Okay, now this is where we're going to set the folder up. So you need to set up with a right click new folder. And then the naming convention is very, very important. You have to call it the funny squiggle uh, line, which is basically shift hashtag. I've gotten the official name of the symbol and then mods, M-O-D-S. Very important you follow that naming structure so everything works. Okay, so now we've got the folder ready. We'll download the actual files. So if you follow the link that I've left in the description, it should take you to the techandmods.com. So full credit goes to Francis Louis who set this mod up. Uh, it's really, really good. He's also put a really good detailed explanation of what it actually does, the post effects that it removes and then talks about how it sharpens and then as you know, um, uh, modifies the resolution to, to bump it up, which makes it look really, really good. So you can see that he's got the, the standard files are on the side there. Now the only choice you need to make is you'll notice that the resolution options range from 125 up to 200. So as he's put there, 150 to 125 is what he's recommended, but 200 is best if your machine can run it. Now for context, I'm running an RTX 4070 and I can run 200 no problem whatsoever and that's running Tekken 8 at 1440p. So again, gives you a rough idea of your kind of what you need to aim for based on your hardware. 
but as I say 4070 it runs the 200 no issues whatsoever okay so once you know which version you want to um, download you need to download the first uh, three files separately so again standard download procedure now just to mention as well you will need these are zipped up so you will need some sort of software to unzip them if you don't have one already so just bear that in mind okay so we do the top three don't need to do that one again I'm just being an idiot and as I mentioned I'm going to download the 200 because I know I can run it but you feel free to download whichever version you want okay so they're now downloaded they should be in your downloads folder standard procedure so as I mentioned you will need to unzip these so I just do them all in one go and I just unzip them to here okay so they're now unzipped and you'll notice they are .pack files which is great that's what we're after so once you've got them all unzipped you basically just cut and paste them into that folder that we set up easy as that okay so I've cut them got that mods file ready or sorry mods folder ready and that's it paste them into there jobs are good and you've now got the mod installed so all you have to do now is just fire up taking it as you would do normally no other work whatsoever so really really simple and uh, that's how you do it okay so having installed it and set it to uh, set it to 200 you can now see this is what it looks like with you know the mods installed running at 200 and as you can see it's still barely tickling the GPU which just goes back to my original point of just how well optimized this game is so you know really really good to see but again this is probably what it looks like so depending on what area you are and stages again for me it hardly goes above it hardly goes above 50 as always your mileage might vary you know feel free to test it seriously and uh, yeah that's that's how it is so i look forward to seeing you in the next one